I'm Sarah, Rich Textures Crochet, and welcome. Today we're going to learn how to crochet the moss beanie. And uh, this is the beanie here in front of you. Now I'm showing it here without a pom-pom, but it is one that you can also add a pom-pom to if you choose or wear it without. It has a little bit of slouch to it, just because this stitch has quite a bit of stretch. But depending on the length that you work the body of the hat, you can change the amount of slouch that this hat has. The hat is worked from the brim up to the top and today we're going to be working it for an adult size to sew to fit a 20 to 22 inch circumference. For the tutorial today you're going to need a little bit of worsted weight yarn. I've worked mine in the Lion Brand Heartland yarn. It's a 100% acrylic yarn. It has about 250 yards per ball and you're going to use most of the 250 yards. You'll have a little bit left over so if you wanted to make a yarn pom-pom to add to the top you could certainly do that with a little bit of uh, leftover yarn that you'll have from this ball. You're also going to need a 5 millimeter or an H8 crochet hook and a copy of the free written instructions which are on my website at richtexturescrochet.com. You'll find some other photos there as well. So thank you so much for joining me. While you're here, I invite you to subscribe. Take a look around. This channel is updated every week with free crochet patterns and crochet stitch tutorials. And there are so many other crochet hats and beanies here on my channel. Definitely you'll want to check them out. So let's grab our hooks and yarn and get started. Our pattern today is worked in rows so you're going to start by making a slip knot and then by working a foundation chain and we're starting down at the brim of our hat. So for our foundation chain we're going to start by chaining 10. You can make your brim longer or shorter. It's up to you, just chain more or less chains. For row one, you're then going to work a slip stitch into the second chain from your hook, and then into each chain all the way across. Now, if you're not a fan of working slip stitch brims, you can certainly uh, exchange these slip stitches for single crochet or half double crochet. I just love the look of the slip stitch brim so I'll be working slip stitches. Once you come all the way across you'll have nine stitches. You're then going to chain one and turn your work. Now for row two we're going to work slip stitches across. This time only working in the back loop only. So if you're looking at the top of your stitch the loop that is furthest away from you, that is your back loop. So you're going to insert your hook under that back loop only and slip stitch in the first stitch and each stitch all the way across. Your turning chain does not count as a stitch. So you should always have nine slip stitches. When you come across, chain one and turn your work. And now you're going to repeat slip stitch, working in the back loop only of each stitch all the way across. When you come to the end of this row, chain one, turn your work and repeat. You're going to repeat this row until the brim of your hat measures approximately 16 to 17 inches and that's when the fabric is relaxed. So when you stretch the brim of your hat it should fit the 20 to 22 inch circumference quite uh, nicely. So I only work mine to 16 to 17 inches. Again if you need to change the size of your hat you can work more or less rows. It's really up to you. I like 16 to 17 inches. So at that point you can then meet me back here. Once you have worked your 72, sorry, your, <laughs> got ahead of myself there, uh, your seven, 16 to 17 inches for your hat brim, you're then ready to seam these two smaller sides together. So again, that was 17 inches or so laid flat, and then you'll find that it stretches quite nicely. 
You're then going to take your sh two shorter ends, do not fasten off, and you can chain one. Then take your two shorter ends and place them together. We're then going to work a slip stitch seam up the side by working in the back loop only of the first side and reaching across and sitting our hook into the back loop only of the second side and then slip stitch. You're going to do this all the way across the brim of your hat and bring the two sides together. Once you come all the way across, you can chain one and you're then going to turn your brim so that it's right side out so the seam is on the inside. You're then ready to work the first round of the hat body. So we're going to be working around this rough long edge of our brim. For round one of the hat body, we're going to evenly work 72 single crochet stitches all the way around. So when I'm working these stitches I'm just going to insert my hook where it is comfortable and work a single crochet and then work a total of 72 all the way around. You want to make sure that they're fairly evenly spaced out so that you don't have any bunching in your pattern. If you're changing the size of your beanie for this round you're going to need a multiple of three stitches. Okay, so work a multiple of three stitches. For the adult size, I'll be working 72 single crochet stitches all the way around. Once you have worked 72 single crochet stitches all the way around, you're going to join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch. Now for round two, we're going to chain three which counts as a double crochet stitch. You're then going to work a double crochet back into the same stitches joining, chain two, and work a single crochet into that same stitch. Skip the next two stitches, into your next stitch, work two double crochet stitches, chain two and single crochet back into the same stitch. You're going to repeat that all the way around. Skip the next two stitches into your next stitch, work two double crochet stitches, chain two and single crochet. Skip the next two, two double crochet, chain two, and single crochet in the same stitch all the way around. At the end of round two, you're going to end with your single crochet, skip the final two stitches, and then join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch, which is that starting chain three. You're then going to chain one and turn your work. Now for round three, we're going to begin by working two double crochet stitches, chain two and, uh, and chain two, into the first chain two space. So you have your chain one, you're going to into this first chain two space, work two double crochet stitches, and chain two. You're then going to work a front post single crochet around the post of the next stitch. To work your front post single crochet, insert your hook from the front, around back and out through the front again of the next stitch, which is a double crochet, yarn over, draw up a loop, yarn over and pull through two loops on your hook. That's your front post single crochet. You're then going to repeat that all the way around. 
So into the next chain two space, work two double crochet stitches, chain two, and front post single crochet around the post of the next stitch. Into the next chain two space, work two double crochet stitches, chain two, and front post single crochet all the way around. At the end of round three, you're going to join with a slip stitch into the top of your first double crochet stitch, chain one, and turn your work. Now for rounds four through to 20, you're, or 22, you're simply going to repeat that round three. So in your first chain two space, work two double crochet stitches, chain two, and front post single crochet around the post of the first next stitch. Repeat that all the way around. So you're going to repeat that round three uh, for rounds four through to 22, and then meet me back here. Now, if you'd like, you can change the height of your hat. Just simply work more or less rounds before you go ahead and finish off. Once you've worked through to round 22, your hat should look something like this. You're then ready to close the top of your hat so you can fasten off. And when you fasten off, you want to leave a fairly long tail. You're then going to take your long tail and thread it onto a yarn needle. You're then going to use that long tail to sew the top of your hat closed. To do that, you're simply going to take your yarn needle and weave it in and out through that top round of stitches. So you want to go all the way around. I'm just inserting my needle roughly through the top two loops where I would normally work into if I was crocheting. Just weaving in and out through the top. Working the top of your hat this way is wonderful if you want to keep a continuous texture and not have to work out complicated uh, two together stitches if you're working your hat from the bottom up. Now I neglected to mention at this point, you will want to have your hat inside out. So you can tell by that seam on 
the side facing you. Just gives it a cleaner look on the outside. Once you've gone all the way around, you're then simply going to pull the top of your hat closed as tight as you would like. That's going to gather it there up at the top for you. Then at this time, just to make sure that it stays closed, I just tie a quick little knot. Again, I'm working on the inside of my hat, so the right side is facing, uh, wrong side is facing out. You're then going to simply sew the top of your hat closed. Now, depending on your preference, you can work it as a whip stitch or uh, however you would like. I'm just going to go in and out just under this top round of stitches all the way across. Pull it fairly tight. You don't want any gaps. If you'd like to work a seam that's not simply just straight across, you're also welcome to do that. All the way till you come to that other side. You're then going to fasten off again. I'm just going to work a knot on the inside that is hidden very well in the texture of this hat. And then tuck in your end. Fasten off. You can then make sure that all the other ends are also tucked in and clipped. Turn your hat right side out. And that is your moss beanie. You can then add a pom-pom or leave it plain. I'm just checking to see if I have a pom-pom here. Something like that might be nice. It's really up to you. So thank you so much for joining me and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial on the moss beanie. And uh, once again, don't forget to subscribe. If you happen to make the hat, be sure to share it on social media and tag Rich Textures Crochet. Until next time, happy crocheting. Bye.